bro has one card in his deck, five in his hand. We've got a thick deck. Our hand is nice. Our board is nice. Value generation. I do not think it is possible. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> take, take everything back. <laughs> First deck of the day, first game of the day as well, we are going to be playing this Ticketus Warlock that uses a lot of these new cards. we got Armor Bender in the starting hand, I'm keeping Ticketus for that greed. Rustwix, great card. We like these slow matchups, we take these against the uh, Paladin. It's going to drop the Mermy. Might as well just uh, play the Armor Bender. It's going to be a slow game. That's what we like. Okay, looks like it's gonna be a uh, a Murloc, Murloc Paladin. Now, I guess I can just soul shear that. It's gonna draw into the scale. Just trade there. I don't know if these are the best plays, but um. The early game kind of doesn't matter if you're playing against two slow decks. I guess his deck isn't really that slow. You get a trade into this 3-1. Go ahead and discover a demon. I think... We're just gonna take the 7-5. Jumbo Imp would have been fine as well. Go ahead and life tap. You want to be a little bit careful with the spirit. Jailers playing them a little bit too early can be... Um, not good because you don't really want to heal at full health so that may have been a misplay but i think it's good to keep some pressure on the board as you can see we've dropped um <laughs> about 5,000 rank uh i tried to play a bunch of demon hunter some soul demon hunter it was not going well i lost a bunch of games i also didn't play for like three days and dropped 3,000 rank so it's okay though, I'm not gonna try to grind. Um, just gonna coin out, trade. We have a demonic study, so potentially we can chain that into a five cost Ticketus and then corrupt it the next turn if we draw like a six cost. This is interesting. I think Mosher is probably the best thing here. A lot of other Warlock decks run it anyway. Go ahead and life tap, strong man. Great for Ticketus, we're just gonna do that trade. Ticketus isn't discounted anymore. Potentially we can play the uh, other six cost demon next turn, and then a uncorrupted strongman the turn after into a Ticketus, but we're probably gonna have to deal with this board here. We're definitely gonna have to deal with this board here. Dark Skies is a pretty good answer. That's 13 on board. Seven in our hand, but we can get rid of a bunch here. I'm not sure. I think we just trade and we'll dark skies and hope that works out for us. Perfect. I found myself high rolling the most with this deck, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't, I don't think I high roll with any other deck, like Rogue or Shaman or stuff like that. Decks that use a lot of RNG. Like all the all the clears here, the new clear, um, Hysteria I think it's called. I always do quite well with that one. Might have to use it here as well. I could play it on the 1-3, hopefully clear the whole board. 
Go ahead and life tap first though. Spirit Jailer is fine. I am going to play the Hysteria on the 1-3. Hopefully it knocks into the smaller cost minions. Cool. Cool. Go ahead and drop that. We don't really mind having soul or soul fragments in our deck, sorry. Because we do need that healing. That was weak. And that was weird. But 4, 5, and 5, 5 is a little annoying. Mm. Let's see. I think our best play here is just to play the summoner. Go face. He has to trade two things into that. Although with the scale dragon or... Yeah, scale lord, there it is. Okay, we've corrupted, we fully corrupted one of our Cascading Disasters, so we can potentially clear three cards here. Cascading, or sorry, Divine Shield doesn't really matter. Taking a bit of damage. Hmm, interesting. I don't think I want to play that, though, because the Divine Shield will prevent me from getting a lot of healing. Okay, I guess that's fine. We might have to Cascadian again, honestly. It's corrupted already, so we miss out on some value, but we'll get the card back when we play Yasarge. Yasharge. Yasharaj. Sorry. That's a bit annoying. Another Scale Lord. Okay, we're gonna twist another of this. Uh, I don't, I don't know how he comes back from this one. Honestly, we can play strongman. We, we're at 11 HP, but uh, he has two cards in his hand. We have Ticketus that so we can play the next turn. I'm not sure how he wins. He just had a. Okay, cool. All right. Another Paladin. Back-to-back -back Paladins. I like it. These are good matchups for us. Gonna keep some of these early game clearing cards. If you guys have um, deck suggestions or anything like that, go ahead and drop them in the... Uh, comment section that'll be much appreciated quest paladin is not something that you see very often i think it could be decent chaining it into she chains it into like a bunch of uh actually i'm not sure what it's really good with like you need cards that have ongoing effects for it to really be worth it just a well-statted minion, getting a copy of it doesn't really matter. I guess if I had Divine Shield, it might be okay. Hmm, School Spirits is not bad here. It's ours survives. I don't think... We're playing against a uh, quest paladin, so I don't think big boards are going to be the issue, because I presume they're going to have one really OP part card that they copy. So Cascading, is the di Cascading Disaster is the card that we need to be more frugal with, instead of School Spirits, which we might honestly just use again here. Yeah, I, I, don't, I honestly don't think that's a bad play. Might be. It very well might be. Our hand's kind of full. Next turn we can play the Summoner. Um, yeah, I think Abyssal Summoner is probably just our best move here. It's an 8 8. That's pretty good. 9 9 is obviously the best that you can get with this, unless you have 12 cards in your hand for some reason. But, uh. What are you coining out? Okay, that's fine. 
Hysteria and cascading disaster. Interesting. It's possible that we just high roll on the cascading disaster. As I said, I high roll. Cool. Cool. So. Might as well draw with this. Trade. Guess we go face. I don't think it's worth it trading to the 3-1. And then next turn, we can corrupt Tigatus with Enhanced Dreadlord. Uh, I've seen other versions of this deck run different cards and not run Enhanced Dreadlord, but I think it's kind of nice to have some more healing. We can Soul Shear that and then hit it, or I guess we can just corrupt and then play the strong man. Trade, trade. And Ticketus is corrupted. They still have cards in their deck. That was on mobile uh, uh, earlier, and I uh, had a six Ticketus game. I played six Ticketuses in one game. Given only like the first two actually milled any cards, but um, it's kind of funny. I draw two off of demonic studies. Pretty lucky. I drew two. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna play Ticketus. My bad. I thought I had enough mana for Cascading. Leap Room of Judgment. That's a good. That's a good one to get rid of. Go ahead and Soul Share this. I'm just trading with the Dreadlord. I want the Dreadlord to take more damage, I think, because I would rather have the life steal. Actually, it might not be worth it right now, but I think the life steal will become relevant quite soon. Play like Libram and then Consecration. Nope. Still stew with the 6-4. Pretty weak turn. That's all fine. Potentially summon their cascading, or we could just do some trades here. I think Fire Breather might be the better play. Because uh, we do have two demons here. She has none. That's a clear. We we'll just do this, I guess. Might as well. It was a very inefficient way to use our mana. I could play the horrendous growth. I don't think it's worth it for four four. It's certainly value, but it could be more valuable later on. And that gets compounded when you uh, count in Yashiraj. Okay, it's gonna make a copy of that, so that's like 12 healing. But it's already at 25 HP, so it doesn't really matter. We could honestly just Cascading Disaster and then trade. Boom, boom. Should've hero powered. It's fine. Mm, these kinda suck. I'll just take the uh, servant. Mm. Trade, trade. I don't think my board is too big to commit this as well to zero cost as well, it doesn't really matter. We're at full. We have a nice board. She is at 17. We've destroyed five of their cards. Hmm. I do not know. How we could lose this game. Honestly. 
maybe if we just never draw into a late game win condition, Rest Wix never comes up. But I think it's kind of done. I don't see any top minions coming down. Okay. You can trade one thing here. Don't have enough mana to use a spell. Doesn't help you. Okay. We take these. Thank you very much. <sighs> this deck is kind of busted. Okay. On to the next game. Another sl potentially slow matchup. Although I have seen druids use a bunch of like arbor ups the new cards to just have some crazy aggro plays go ahead and spirit jailer turn one just to put a minion on the board even though it's possible that we're going to draw into the soul fragments on the next turn and it's going to be totally useless guidance do not see that one often This is just a hero power hit face. With this deck, I would say don't be afraid to just um, accumulate cards in your hand and just continually hit that hero power. Unless, of course, you're facing an aggro deck, in which case you want to control the board as much as possible, but having a big hand really only helps you here. Especially with that, like, teensy hand log package with the Abyssal Summoner. Not really a bag, it's just, just two cards. <clears throat> okay. Nature studies. I think next turn we probably just straight up hero power and pass. Although it might be advantageous to play the uh, four cost. I don't know. I think if we draw something, no, okay. This is just a pass. Want to corrupt Tigatus as fast as possible, but we don't exactly have enough soul shards in the deck for Sociologist to be relevant on turn seven. Not really sure. Lunar Eclipse. Okay, fair enough. What does that go into? Another Lunar Eclipse. That seems like a waste. Okay. Overgrowth. And then Claw. Wow. Alrighty. It's another hero power. You can play Armor Vendor. Lightly used armor. Pulling an abyssal summoner would be real nice right about now. Wow, thank you. That was essentially just a draw five. I don't know why. Don't know why he did that. Cascading disaster. Interesting stuff. Uh, just drop that, and then pass, I guess. Didn't want to have, didn't want to overdraw something important, so I didn't hear a power, and I had to use the soul, or the school spirits. It's not the worst thing to just throw out there, because, uh, well, he's at 10 mana. But school spirits, if you're ever in a pinch and you just need to play something to not overdraw, you can play school spirits because, um... It does get you some value with the soul shards. Obviously three mana heal four isn't really that great at all. But it's better than throwing something else away that really has no value to you at all. Three mana do nothing. S 
So we could grow Ticketus, but it's only three. I'm not sure what the best option is here. I think we're just gonna do this. I'm not sure if that's enticing enough to do a full clear. So if they don't, we have a lot of damage. If they do, we have Ticketus anyway. Yes, okay. Do we keep nine damage on the board? Okay. Let's see, have another Wrath. Whoa. Alrighty. Go ahead and drop it. Wait, so... he If Yogg is in this deck... Why... Why the fungal... Card that can potentially discard a minion? Does not make sense. Like, I get the whole... Spell Druid, I guess, but that is weird. That's really weird. But I'm very glad that we discarded his Yogg. Wow. Quite lucky. Okay. I mean, Cascading Disaster is really our only hope here, I think. Boom. 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 Big damage face. One thing with this is, um, don't be scared about having 22 armor to get through on your opponent. Like, see? Now it's 8. When you're playing a slow deck like this, especially a lot of budget people that are used to playing really aggro decks, because that's, for some reason, it's the only affordable thing. Uh, don't be afraid if you're able to craft a control deck. Don't be afraid when your opponent has one trillion armor. Because the game's going forever. Wasted Soul Fragment. Rustwicks. Interesting. I think Dreadlord is just more efficient. And then we can trade. Again, I... I'm not sure how they deal with this board. We have Rustwicks, potentially puts three win conditions in our deck, or at least stall conditions. I think win conditions is a bit much. Certainly the Mage Prime can uh, be a win condition. So, a bunch of Dream Portals. So if we end up with Yashiraj, we could absolutely destroy all of those dream portals. I'm just gonna play Rustwix and the Clown. Everything goes face. That's a four damage minion at the end of the day. We do not exactly care about these dream portals unless there is a way that he can deal with my entire board. And even if there is, we have Twisty Nether, the ultimate trap card in our hand. A lot of 8 8s here. What, this is impressive. A Wax of Dread. That's... It's pretty lucky, not gonna lie. Keep drawing them, honestly, keep drawing. Lucky, lucky. Board full of 8 8s. Wow. Alright, so we go face with everything, then we twist another. The Wax of Dread won't be buffed for the whole game. So, that is nice. I'm not sure if I would have uh, survived the fittest there, if I were him. But, maybe he didn't have anything else to play. And if your deck revolves around it, then it's probably good to uh, play. But having those dream portals in your deck, they do not benefit from survival of the fittest. So. That's annoying though. 4 mana 6-6. Six, six. With effect. No more healing for us. I'm not sure how much healing he has though. 
might be forced into cascading disaster here. Oh, never mind. Let's do this. Boom, boom. Another prime. Beautiful. Love to see it. Now we have the high ground. 10 damage on board. We have 38. Sorry. 38, yeah. Health. He's got 13 and like two cards in his deck. Can you kill it? Got anything else? Hello. Okay. Yeah, keep drawing, honestly. There you go. Go to fatigue. Oh, Axedroid is gonna save him from fatigue. Okay, gave himself excess mana. Weird. Oh wait, the candle doesn't actually save him from fatigue at all. Because I, I think it functions as a soul fragment, or it casts immediately. We'll see. Draws it, and then also takes damage. Yeah, okay. Ooh. I think this game is won. <laughs> Maybe not. Mally OTK right here. 14 damage split among all enemies. Just hit me in the face, I don't care. Ooh, gets a Cthune. I forgot about that. Hmm. This is mildly concerning. Well, if we clear and get ourselves above 30, or put above 30 HP on the board. We can live. Okay. Uh, I think we have to hope that we draw into something nice here. Because at the moment we can't clear his board. So... Soul Fragment heals to 30, that's good. Another Soul Fragment, doesn't matter. Dark Skies. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Just gonna do Hysteria. Hit mine first, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, cool. And then... We have to just play this, and we have to pray that a single Cthune damage hits the 4-3. Okay, cool, we live. Ooh. Wow. What? Why? Oh. Get me down to 2 HP. Kinda no different. It is no different. Yeah, keep the soul fragments, come on. Interesting. You can get a big taunt. We can get a taunt with lifesteal. We can get a big taunt. And we can do that. I should have done that first, I'm trolling. We got lucky. It do not matter. Wax tread again, we don't care. You're taking a bunch of fatigue. Four damage. Thank you. Okay. I think this is going to be the f my final game of the day. We're up against another paladin. What... I, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with all these Paladin games, so I'm, I'm not going to film more games, though. But 
this deck is busted against all classes. I've I've play tested it against more than just Paladin, I promise. Please believe me. Please. Okay, it's gonna be a turn one demonic. Here we go. Hmm. I think this just could be useful at some point. Ready to pass. We like seeing that Rust Wicks. We're gonna hero power. Next turn is potentially some type of clear. And if not, we're gonna hero power and then armor smith. I don't think that's something that we try to clear because of the divine shield makes it a tad bit annoying to clear. So we're just gonna armor vendor. Potentially, if they play another minion that I might be inclined. Okay, yeah. Perfect, actually. Oh wait, I completely miscalculated. I guess we just, we trade, get rid of the shield. Or we could do hysteria. Hmm. Intriguing. Hysteria might be better. Uh, let's see, do it. Let's just do one hit and then. Alright, it hits. Perfect. That's fine. Cool. We got it. Yeah, hysteria was guaranteed better. I'm kind of trolling there. I, I'm very much trolling there. So, turn 5, we can play Rustwix. It's not mana efficient because it's reduced from Demonic Studies. We can play the 5 cost, or the reduced cost. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Because it'll take care of the uh, before 2, which I think is honestly a really good card. Goody 2 shields. It's kind of a must in any pure Paladin. I guess Libram might run it as well. Not sure. Okay, that's fine. Probably gonna hit that 6 3. Got armor. Welcome for that armor. Yashraj. Fire Breather's kinda free here. Mind as well. Control the board. I, I'm completely throwing away 2 damage. However, I don't mind having soul fragments in my deck. And I kind of want some hand space because uh, I've got some fat cards in my hand. However, we don't have a turn seven as it stands. A bit unfortunate. Hmm. This is interesting. I want to put down Rustwix, but that is not on curve at all. Cascading Disaster isn't fully corrupted. That's fine, we take that. That is now corrupted, there we go. No, I'm not sure if this new corrupted card is actually a benefit to the pool for Yashraj. I've had some games that go down to like where I have no cards in my deck left. If I'm playing against another Warlock or the game just really drags on and I play it and then I have all these cards that are useless because their corrupt effect is that I draw a card and I have no intention of drawing a card, fatiguing myself. So we can just play the Dreadlord. Next turn, we play Ticketus, potentially with a Dark Skies. Maybe you might have to do that. We get to heal like two. Yeah, thank you. That's annoying. Yeah, I think we could totally dark skies here. Uh oh. Unfortunate. Six, nine, ten, eleven. 
And we don't have enough cards in our hand. Twisting Nether is quite tempting. I'm going to play an Armor Vendor. They have plenty of cards in their deck. This way, I also have the possibility of uh, getting rid of their Prime Murloc card, which could prove quite useful once we've gotten rid of all of our uh, board clear. Your secrets trigger twice. That is kind of useless. Lightforge Crusader really giving him all these uh, random legendary minions that do not really matter. So this might be the Dark Skies play. Into Ticketus. It's a lot less damage. We could also Fire Breather. Not bad. They remove justice, we take it. There it is. I told you, we milled it. We milled another Leaver of Justice. Leaver of Hope. Wow. Good discards. Ticketus is game breaking. Ticketus is, is absolutely game breaking. Honestly. Alright, that's a bit annoying. I, we can immediately just play the old god here, I think. I think that is the play. We get Ticketus back. Get Cascading Disaster back. Might it as well. Draw a card, Ticketus. End turn. What are we gonna what are we gonna discard this time? Consecration, goodbye. Blessing of authority, who needs it? Wisdom is fine. Zealot, another authority. Pretty good mills. Pretty good discard, if you ask me. Fat damage on the board. Absolutely fat damage on the board. Another one. Am I trolling? Did he play two? Oh man. We don't have a twisting nether this time. Oops. Hmm, school of spirits. Also, Dark Skies isn't awful here, right? Because if it hits our minions, it doesn't really do anything. Boom. So let's do that and then trade. Wait, why did I? Oh, to keep it alive. Okay. Whew. Thought I messed up. I mean, I probably messed up, but um, this deck is a bit busted, so it does not matter if you mess up. All right, first day of school, not bad. Not bad at all. That's annoying. That pisses me off. Cascading Disaster is not corrupted enough to deal with this big board. Jeez. That's awful. Oh, and the rush. Oh my god. Okay. Rustwix. Please, please, ho. Oh. Thank, thank Hearthstone devs, man. Wow. Alrighty. Okay, <laughs> playing a lot of things here. 
Summoner is not what I needed. I mean, might as well. I don't think this interferes. It's only five, right? Yeah, okay. Two, three, one, here. Hero power, end turn. Bro has one card in his deck, five in his hand. We've got a thick deck. Our hand is nice. Our board is nice. Value generation. I do not think it is possible. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Take everything back. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. See you next